Hello and welcome to Total Television. I'm Brian Dolby reporting from the Cisco Live event at the Excel Centre in London where I'm joined by Ves Bakalov who is the CTO of Sev1. Ves, I think you've made a major announcement here at the show. Tell us about version 5 of Sev1. Yeah, thank you. Well, we're really excited about version 5. Essentially, we have added a whole new reporting engine to Sev1. The capabilities allow us to link report attachments from all sorts of technologies, from NetFlow to graphs, from top-end reports. So, for instance, a user can go ahead and add a top-end report to their um, top-end attachment to their report, link it to the graphs of the individual elements, drill down into NetFlow, and then also show the alerts on the same screen. Now, this is all linked together as a single report. You can change the filtering of the top-end report, and all of the graphs and NetFlow and alerts are going to automatically update. So it gives you a fully templating engine because all the attachments can now understand each other. They are in what we call SURF, the SEV1 Unified Reporting Framework. Essentially, they are all compatible with each other. They can all pass information back and forth to each other to provide a fully dynamic environment with brand new workflows that are easy for the everyone in the organization to take advantage of. Yeah, is that is that why it's so essential that it is very user friendly? What are the main uh, facets for operators? Sure. I mean, that's actually a very key thing. The network has become the nervous systems of major organizations. Obviously, telecoms rely on the network to make their money. I mean, it's the lifeblood of the organization. But uh, banks, financials, um, even medical companies, they cannot deliver medicine to your pharmacy without the network. So all aspects of the organization, from the operators in the telco room, in the NOC, all the way through the CTO, need to, and the CEO really, need to understand how their network is performing. So providing an interface that provides the right level of aggregation at each level and allows a drill down is essential for modern organizations to survive. Yes, and of course with so much pressure on the network at the moment from tablets, mobiles, all sorts of devices, Network management is under pressure as never before. Absolutely. I mean, we have new protocols springing up every day. Obviously, VMware has been a huge disruptor in the industry. Um, and we have NetFlow with MediaNet for all the high-definition telepresence. Uh, we have IPSLA coming up with new protocols. So Sev1 is really on the edge of all these technologies. We can provide a total view of the infrastructure of a company and avoid what's known in the industry as swivel chair management. When you have 10 different OSS and you have to move around and try to find out which one is showing you the problem today, bringing all this information together in a single interface, in a scalable network performance management system, I should say IT uh, infrastructure performance management system, allows the user to derive so much more value out of their data and we're really excited about being able to provide this. Yeah, now I know you're here as a gold sponsor, but you're also one of the founders of Sev1. Give us a little bit of background about the company. I know you're very big in the States, growing internationally. Tell us a bit more. Sure. Actually, it's been quite an exciting ride. We started 2005 and it was a bit unique. It wasn't necessarily a university research project. Um, we all came from the financial industry. I mean, I'm personally ex JP Morgan Chase. My partners came from other large companies. And we aimed at solving the problem of these giant networks. So, day one, our success criteria wasn't to just put a few graphs on the screen. It was, can we deliver a solution that can get a multinational network operating efficiently. So we started a few people in the garage, but we've been now, we're over 100 people. We have 10 people here in EMEA, which is very exciting. They actually just posted 100% growth in the region year over year, which compared to the rest of the EU is actually quite good. Uh, and we have very strong partners in Asia. And now we actually have some full-time people there as well. That's fantastic. Well, congratulations on the on the company's success. Congratulations on the new product. And thanks for talking to us at Total Television. Thank you very much as well.